Okay, um, here's a, a, a story, autobiographical in nature. I'm writing called Souls Mountain Peak of the Ancient City. I have to scroll up. I quit working at the flower shop on the east side and then had enough of living in my day to day, day and night slumbering with my day and night slumbering father. The only time of the month he came to laugh was when his pension and social security checks sailed into the mailbox. At the first of the third of every month, I will write more about my days of part-time employment at the flower shop later in the form of flash buicks. At any rate, with about 500 clams stuffed into my back pocket for the first time in um, years weighing under 200 pounds, I quit my father's Roman up homestead hitting the road for the great unknown. I can still remember the exact day I hit the road. His house, by the way, had already been on the real estate market in the local cassette for a few or three months. It was, it was sometime in spring, perhaps late May or early June. My girlfriend at the time had advised me that she was having an unwanted romance with her landlord. Filled with a busload of unrequited love and tons of radioactive self-pity, I quit the flower shop, leaving at approximately the same time my father's termite-infested castle of 24-hour-a-day sleep. All he did was sleep. The first thing I did, having left my father soon to be a Polish Hall parking lot homestead, was to draw motel pay dirt down the street at Monacom, attempting at the same time to hook a line of drum roll and ballyhoo from the motel management, who wavy deuced and aced a hole in one about an acquaintance of his who might want a Funk and Wagner, my automotive agent, to the tune of Ships Ahoy, spot, five spot. I didn't trust the man as far as I could light a flame on the midnight scallywag Madam Palm Reed's plump red tree logs. A place down Fall River Way I knew Shatbird well and my rambling gambling papa to frequent. Just did not trust the management. For one thing he wore his clothes inside out one day, then upside down the next. For another thing he kept talking about my New York City like accent. As some people did. Don't book don't book of a flight to freelance potato chip photography museum, in other words, without a half dozen feathers in your fairly well prune them and water them cap. And when you hold, held a f oil fueled lamp alongside his cash register, he began chewing the fat a mite too much about his sister in law being Moby Dick. Few of us could put our trust in such a mere and mighty, varied, and various bullshit artist. And then, and then I go into a few years later, which I'll skip. And I will now regale you with some harmonious um, medleys. Let's see how much is. Okay. <laughs> So I wound up in a bunch of motels, then I came completely homeless, and wound up in three, half, four hospital, uh, homeless shelter, and a bunch of uh, very strange, and um, some good, some not so good people. Um, <laughs> Bless, peace, and love, and I hope everybody's doing great. And, um, let's see.